the Congress, seat of America's lawmakers, the monuments to Washington and Jefferson, founding fathers of the Republic. The memorial to Abraham Lincoln, these sites greet an African head of state arriving in the American capital. A 21-gun salute and full honors for Felix Ufue Boigny, president of the Ivory Coast. President and Mrs. John F. Kennedy are the first to shake hands with President and Madame Ufue Boigny. Secretary of State Dean Rusk, citizens of Washington, cabinet members, diplomats, and city officials are at the airport to welcome the leader of the West African nation. Chief Justice Ernest Boka, as well as the ministers of agriculture and finance, accompany President Ufue Boigny. The two presidents and their wives take their place on the podium to take the salute of the honor guard. President Ufue Boigny does not come to America as a stranger. His fame has preceded him. His idealism, his wise statesmanship have won the respect of President Kennedy. glad to have you here for many reasons. First, because you have had a most distinguished and extraordinary career as an architect, not only of the independence of your own country, but a leader in the efforts of many African countries to gain their independence and at the same time maintain harmonious relations with the great traditions uh, of the free world. Aujourd'hui, au-delà même de la preuve Today, beyond being proof of the excellent relations which exist between the people of the Ivory Coast and the American people, my visit, in answer to the kind invitation you have extended to me, Mr. President, has a deeper significance in that it marks the fact that my country has firmly embarked on a policy of full cooperation with all democratic nations working for the happiness of mankind. Sur la voie de la coopération confiante avec toutes les nations démocratiques qui œuvrent pour le bonheur de l'humanité. The President of the United States escorts his guest. Together they will ride from the airport into the capital. President Kennedy will have occasion to tell President Oufoué Boigny, I hope that by the time you leave us, you will come to realize that our country has the deepest, the warmest feelings for you and your country. The president of the Ivory Coast receives a demonstration of America's respect and affection in the welcome accorded him by the citizens of Washington. The chief executive of the Ivory Coast will reside at Blair House, across the street from President Kennedy's home. 